What's up? I'm back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the tile pane layout in JavaFX. So, a tile pane lays out its children in a grid of uniformly sized cells known as tiles. Tile pane works similar to flow pane, but the only difference are their height and width. In a flow pane, rows and columns can be of different width and height, while in tile pane, the width of the widest child node and the height of the tallest child node are the default width and height of all tiles in a tile pane. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a tile pane, how to add nodes in a tile pane, and let's see how we, we can do that. And let's get started. So here I am going to create an empty tile pane. Tile pane root equals new tile pane. And let's import the tile pane layout. So let's create the scene for our stage. Scene equals new scene. And let's pass in the root variable. And let's declare the size of the scene. Let's say 400 by 300. And let's import the scene. So let's set the scene to stage, to so our stage. And let's call the stage that set scene. And pass in the scene variable scene. Like this. And let's set the stage title. Set tile understanding tile pane. Tile pane layout and let's show the stage. Stage that show. Alright. What I'm going to do now is to add nodes inside the tile pane. For example, I'm going to add the name of the 12 months in a form of buttons. So I'm going to use a for loop for month for each month at values. Let's use the values method here. It returns an array containing the constants, constants of this enum type. For example, this. And let's use this. So I'm going to create a button object and button, let's name the button as btn variable equals new button and import the button. Make sure to select this JavaFX scene control button, not this one to avoid any errors. All right, and import that. And I'm going to add some parameters here month that do string to make it programmer friendly yeah all right so we have created a button and i'm going to set the button size set maximum size and double that maximum volume and also the maximum height double that max value. So we have created a button and fixed its size. So what I'm going to do next is to add the button inside the, the tile pane. So let's call the variable root and get children and add button. Okay. And Let's try running this program. Okay. <clears throat> this is how it looks like. This is the tile pane. It works similar to flow pane. So you can see. Yep. So uh, I'm going to add the H gap and the V gap here. 
let's go here. So maybe here we're gonna do here. Root that set h gap the save five and also the b gap set b gap. All right. And let's run this again. Okay, this looks better. This is how the Falcon works in JavaFX. So I'm going to show you how to use the how to create the tile pane tile pane in Scene Builder. This is the most easiest way to create scene in JavaFX. So let's drag drag in the tile pane and let's add nodes inside the tile pane button. Is Yep, I think this is enough. And you can modify the properties here. The tile pane, you can set the tile alignment like this. Orientation, horizontal, vertical. Yep. That's it, that's all. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I will see you in the next video.